He hasn't been abroad for four years. His choice of Russia as a first stop spoke volumes. This meeting was a huge moment. The world was watching and they knew it. Warm words and welcomes exchanged at a meeting of minds, perhaps, but at least of men with mutual benefits to reap. The location could hardly have been more symbolic. The Vosnochi Cosmodrome in Russia's Far East, a space base that used to be a launch site for Soviet ballistic missiles. A tour clearly of interest, pointed indeed, given both men's military ambitions. And if the symbolism didn't do the trick, then Putin made sure to hammer it home. Will Russia help North Korea launch satellites and rockets, he's asked. That's why we've come here, the response. This was all meticulously staged, designed to make neither side look desperate. But both have things the other really needs. And the clear context is Putin's war in Ukraine. Just listen to Kim's clear support for it. Russia is waging a sacred fight to defend its sovereignty, security interests and justice. And we have always expressed full and unconditional support for the actions taken by the Russian government. And I take this opportunity to affirm that we will always stand with Russia on the anti-imperialist front. What Putin really seeks is arms to sustain his brutal war, his stockpiles depleting, few friends left to ask. In return, Kim Jong-un wants technical know-how, spy satellites and nuclear-capable submarines his aim. He also desperately needs food. Many of his people are starving. And the symbolism clearly mattered as much as the substance here. Words of friendship in a visitor's book, even a sneak peek of Putin's personal limo. The message, we have power and can befriend who we choose. Such gestures continued over dinner. The intended audience, the West, of course, but possibly even China too. I would like to propose a toast to the further strengthening of friendship and cooperation between our countries, between the Russian Federation and the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, for the well-being and prosperity of our people, for the health of Comrade Chairman and everyone present. This burgeoning bromance could have grave consequence for this region, for the world. Both might be a bit suspicious of the other, but ambition, by far the greater force. Helen Ann Smith, Sky News in Beijing.